Hello parents and guardians, I hope that all is well. I'm looking forward to another great week at the middle school. Uh, just a quick run through of what we will be doing this week. Progress reports will go home tomorrow. Um, these are the most up-to-date grades. Um, and, and keep in mind that students will always have the chance to revise quiz grades. Um, sometimes I get a little bit behind in um, updating the grades but just know that I give the students that opportunity and um, I strongly encourage them to take those opportunities, especially if they have a quiz grade lower than an 80%. Um, and I always I encourage them to do so, but if they so choose to keep the grade that is below an 80, that is their, that is their choice and I don't, I don't um, require them to do it, but that is a choice that they have. So please encourage your student to always take that opportunity um, for a chance to receive half credit um, on the questions. For win time, we will have Genius Hour Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, with clubs being on uh, Wednesday. Uh, there's been some confusion. Um, on Monday and Tuesdays, my core one has Genius Hour, and then on Thursdays and Fridays, Miss Cook's core one has um, Genius Hour. So what Miss Cook and I do is that we keep our core one on Monday and Tuesday, and then on Thursday and Friday we switch during that time. So both classes are receiving two hours of Genius Hour every week. Um, and, and so when they go into math, they do math review with Miss with Miss Cook. But I'll I'll be doing the Genius Hour for them. And ELA, we didn't um, finish the nonfiction signposts from last week. We only have two more left. Students are doing excellent with the signposts. Um, again, from last week's video, signposts are just um, ways to interact with complex text. Um, so going back and rereading a certain article multiple times and each time looking for something different. So we've been uh, reading the same article. Um, excuse me, um, I'm here alone and I thought I heard something and that, that was kind of creepy. Uh, but anyways, um, we'll be doing, um, we'll, we'll finish nonfiction on Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we'll begin with our fiction. Um, I don't think we will finish this week with the fiction, but I'm going to try my best to do so. And on Friday, we will be going to the media center where, where we'll, we will be at the um, book fair. For social studies, uh, we took a quiz last week and we also had a notebook check, so you'll be seeing that in the, um, in the progress reports. We're going to go ahead and begin with uh, Mesopotamia where we have an Ed puzzle. Ed Puzzle is a program where students are watching a video and throughout the video there are embedded questions that stops the video and they cannot continue until they answer that question. Um, it's a great way to go back and really listen to what the video has to say um, to get the answer correct. Um, and it's an intro video to ancient Mesopotamia. We will then be doing the weekly readers and studying primary and secondary resources before we really get into the Sumer civilization. And Sumerians are the ones that gave us um, the alphabet um, and they also gave us um, the wheel. So it, it's that I, at the beginning of the year I asked um, the, the students to look up who invented the wheel and uh, a couple of them figured it out. But um, it, it'll be interesting to see um, their reaction when um, they finally figure out where the wheel came from. On Thursday during Core 4, we will have a bullying assembly. Um, that is the whole school. We will be going into the um, into the gym for that assembly. My after school meetings, on Monday I have a meeting at 3. On Wednesday I have, we have vertical team meetings for the whole school. And then on Thursday I have a meeting at central office. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Uh, via class dojo or by email or by phone uh, but please keep in mind if you're calling me by phone these time periods on Monday, Wednesday and uh, Thursday. Again, I'm looking forward to a great week. Um, if you have any questions please don't hesitate to call or um, email me. Thanks.